would make if he wanted to go to Golden State. Yeah, you're right. Um, what is your favorite NBA team, by the way? Uh, it's it's the Mavs, and we're <laughs> we got Dennis Smith, but, but that's about it. Y'all have a bright future with Dennis Smith. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm excited about his. I'm excited about him. He's young. Um, he's got hops out of the out of the roof. Um, he, I kind of compare him to Russell Westbrook with his with his uh, mm-hmm. determination and integrity. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty interested in, in what he's gonna do. And y'all picked up McDermott. You know, he was just on the Knicks, and he's a great shooter. So, he's still young. I think he's about 25 years old, Doug McDermott. So I think yeah. that was a good a good pickup for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I think we, we're we looking at probably long-term the future. I think right now, everybody's trying to compete with Golden State. Um, yeah. But right now, I think we knowing that we can't compete with Golden State right now, we got to position ourselves to be – uh, to to just be better for the future, and I think that's what the main focus is. And you know, we we won a championship. Uh, I was here, mm-hmm. 2011, was, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy about that. But I think uh, future wise, we're definitely looking forward to down the road and what we're gonna do. So, and Lewinsky uh, should be on his way out, probably like what another season or two. Yeah, Dirk. Yeah, Dirk should be gone after. I think after this year. I think he said he was gonna call it quits. But I don't know. Yeah, maybe one more year. But I think after this year, Dirk needs to kind of fade, fade to black. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going down as a Hall of Famer, though. That's without a doubt. Right. Right. Yeah. So I know. I know you said basketball was was your sport. Once again, we're talking the tie battle. But what, what was your thoughts on the Super Bowl? Did you watch it? How did you feel about it? Yeah, I saw the whole game from the beginning to the end. It was a close one. On. Neither team is my favorite team, so but you know, I, um, a lot of people in my circle was rooting for the underdogs, which was the um, Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I think it was a it was an exciting game, um, but it was a time in a game when I thought that the Patriots was definitely was going to pull it off and win. And, but you know, the Eagles kept fighting, and eventually they pulled it off. And um, yeah, congrats to the Eagles. Um, but um, I don't really, to be honest, I don't really follow football throughout the whole season. But when it's the Super Bowl, I will watch the game from the beginning to the end. So yeah, it was a it was a close game. Man. Yeah, it was. It, it definitely... You know, I didn't expect you know Philly to come back like that and, and win, but they pulled it off. Yeah, I, I mean, with with Tom Brady with the ball towards the end of the game, there's no way. I, I didn't think there was any way you can count him out. But man, yeah. Philly Philly defense. They took care of business. They they did what Who they did had you to root do. For? They made the play. Yeah. Yeah. Who did you go for? I was going for the Patriots because I'm a, I'm a Cowboys fan, and oh. Cowboys and the Eagles are, are arch yeah. rivals. So I just I just okay. couldn't go. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, as my, much as I wanted to, I couldn't do it. Yeah, my dad is. Oh, so you must be from Dallas. Yeah, yeah, I'm here in Dallas. Okay. Yeah, my dad is actually a, a Cowboys fan, so. I just know, I remember the Ennis Smith days and the Deion Sanders days. That's when I was a Cowboys fan. But um, that was, you know, that was in the 90s. So, I mean, yeah. that was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago now. <laughs> yeah. But now yeah. I, I know they have, like, they call it back as, what, Tony Romo? Well, they had, yeah, they had Tony Romo. They got um, they got Dak Prescott now. They got Ezekiel Elliott. Okay. So, yeah, they, they're, on, they're on the up and up. Yeah, I know. Um, I think last year they had a better record than this year, right? Yeah, last year they were twelve and four. Uh, this year, well, yeah, this year they ended up going nine and seven. So it wasn't as wasn't as successful. Okay. You know, still a winning record, but of course you want more if you you know compared to last year. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, All right, man. but uh, I definitely definitely appreciate you. For uh, taking time out of your Saturday to come on the show, uh, once yeah, no again, problem, man. Ty Battle, you can go follow him at I am Ty Battle on all avenues of social media. We'll be playing his uh, one of his singles on my way to church. We'll be playing that right now. Everybody, again, go out and vote. Uh, v o g m a dot org. Uh, once again, Ty Battle. He's nominated for three nominations, and also you've won. Um, nominations at the uh, the show 
five-time ENT got some music awards also. Yes, so yes. congratulations on that. I forgot to mention that. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And I won a few more other awards, if you don't mind me mentioning it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, well, last year in Jacksonville, Florida, I was a part of another, the number one independent gospel award show called Rhythm of Gospel Music Awards, and I won Holy Hip Hop Artist of the Year. And then um, I was also a part of the award that I'm currently nominated for now, which is the Voices of Gospel Music Awards. I won a Youth Artist of the Year. And then after that, in October, I was a part of the um, Showtime Entertainment Gospel Music Awards in Memphis, Tennessee. So God has truly been blessing me ever since I made that transition from secular to gospel rap. So Definitely. all glory to God. Yeah, amen. I mean, you've been been just working and um, and in reaping the rewards of the choice that you made. So I just, uh, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm gonna pray for you just as uh, before we get uh, off. Thank the you, man. Yeah, definitely. Appreciate so, it, Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for Ty Battle. I thank you for the opportunity for him to come on the show, Lord. I thank you for what you're doing in his life, in him and through him. Thank you for the purpose and plan that you have for his life. That's even bigger and better than what he could even imagine or international like like he has it in his label and in his EP. I just thank you for the people that will be touched by his music. Thank you for the people that will be saved by his music. And I thank you that you just continue to open doors that only you can open and continue to bless him and his family and whatever it is that he touches. And just give you all glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the praise. I appreciate it. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. And everybody, take a listen to this song, On My Way to Church. On My Way to Church. Colin Spencer. Uh, so yeah. appreciate you for coming on, man. Have a good uh, rest of your Saturday. We'll definitely be in touch. I want to get you on the show again in the future. All right, cool. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Definitely, definitely. No problem. Have a good one. All right, you too. Way to the house of worship, we worship the great king, he is so perfect, all the glory goes to the one who deserves it, the honor and the praise, he is really worth it, you give him in the morning, the noon, the night time, thinking about the times I got baptized, on my way to a church for the chain center, we impacting life, so we're here, we love sinners, come as you are, this is an invitation, don't sleep, come and receive salvation, the atmosphere is live and clear, the word of God be a preach, I look forward to it. Takes more than being a church goer. A mind, body, and spirit, gotta remain sober. Read the word, pray, start listening to Jehovah. My spiritual level of Christ is much closer. Not where I used to be. The devil is much lower, lower. Holy Spirit is taking over, over. The church be the people who the believers are. The four voices the building. We like to worship God. Turn the volume up when I hear God's music in my car. Going hard for the Lord, we gotta represent. 24-7 from the beginning to the end. A great king who got him cavalry. It was him who was sent. Uh, but rose up on the third day Yeah, he's helping me with my wordplay The only way to God and Father is to make Christ He worship from the spirit and truth this Sunday I'm hey. on my way to church, ready to praise him I'm on my way to church, giving him glory I'm on my way to church, shouting and dancing Got me singing in my car, hallelujah I'm on my way to church, ready to praise him I'm on my way to church, giving him glory I'm on my way to church, shouting and dancing Got me singing in my car, hallelujah
Husbands love your wife like Christ of the church. Never put nothing before him. Keep God first. Let the Lord use you. Holy Ghost got you. The Spirit will lead you and guide you to all truth. Open up your Bibles. Deny in the flesh. Get rid of the idols. Stop passing the test. Relationship is more important than our church attendance. Focus on the Messiah and develop a friendship. A calling on my life. I got to handle my business. Leading these souls to Christ until God say that I'm finished. Preaching the word of God. His power inside of me. A powerful God that I serve. I'm glad he's a part of me. Unconditional love, grace, and mercy. We need it. Delivered from strongholds, demons defeated. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Now is the season. You woke you up this morning. Thank God you please. I'm on my way to church. Thank you, Jesus, for another day. I'm looking forward to arrive at church this morning. To hear from you, Lord. To hear your word and apply it to my lifestyle. And I want you to use my pastor in a mighty way, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the day. The Jones Experience Grooming Studio. The look, the feel, the lifestyle. This is not your average or typical barbershop or hair salon. It is an experience. Master barbers, experienced hairstylists, exoticians, nail techs, complimentary drinks, car wash services, the list goes on and on. All headed by Jerome P. Jones, Master Barber. So come and enjoy the look, the feel, and the lifestyle at the Jones Experience Grooming Studio at 4041 West Wheatland Road, Dallas, Texas, 75237. For booking info, go to jonesexperiencedallas.com. Hey, what's up, BS3 Sports listeners? If you're trying to look fresh to death, but you're on a budget, dress to impress for less at Prime Ties to Go on Facebook and Instagram. You can get high quality ties, bow ties, cufflinks, handkerchiefs, bracelets, watches, and lapel pins exclusively at Prime Ties to Go on Facebook and Instagram. Get yours today. He could go all the way. It's your boy d Jacks. I'm live and in effect with BS3 Sports Show. Keep it locked. Welcome back to the BS3 Sports Show. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Got some newcomers to the chat room. We got Melvin. We got DJ Nunu, DJ Queen. Also, uh, Cedric Galloway. Appreciate everybody. Uh, Who else do we have? The greatest, if I didn't say that already. Appreciate uh, appreciate you, Mocha Bella. She said, nice song. So, we had a lot that went on from this week. Uh, Of course, the Eagles win the Super Bowl. Uh, Of course, like I mentioned, all the crazy trades that we had that went down. But also, the Olympics. The Olympics started this week. I don't know how much of us are interested in the Winter Olympics. For me, I'm not that I'm not that much into it. Uh, Really, not that much interested into the Winter Olympics. The Summer Olympics is my thing. That's that's what I that's what I like more. Of course, the track and field. Of course, the basketball. The winter stuff. I don't know. I'm not really that that far into it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. But also from this week, it was announced Barry Bonds' jersey will be retired. Barry Bonds played for the Giants pretty much his whole career. He spent a couple of years with the Pittsburgh Pirates early on, but his jersey will be retired on August 11th. I think that was the right thing to do. I mean, he he truly put the Giants on the map. And without him, I don't know where the Giants would be 
right now at this time. Um, so he, I'm very excited about that. And he should be a Hall of Famer. He should be a Hall of Famer. Every, I mean, a lot of people talk about the the PEDs and the steroids, but he still had to have a skill to be able to hit all those home runs, period. Also, highest paid player ever in the NFL. Yeah, Jimmy G. Jimmy G got paid, got cashed.